Hey, so for the last couple of days I've been playing around with this. Uh, I've got a Raspberry Pi 3 here with a USB module that allows this wireless keyboard and trackpad to be connected uh, very easily. Um, I've got a Hi-Fi Berry DAC uh, on top of it and then also the official Raspberry Pi touchscreen. Um, so the purpose of what I wanted to do is to build a very, very small Linux distribution using BuiltRoot uh, that boots up in just a couple of seconds uh, with a bare minimum to allow the LCD to work, the whole USB system, um, have audio working, MIDI working, uh, keyboard and mouse, um, uh, HDMI. So it boots up in, in a couple of seconds. So let's see, now I'm going to plug in uh, a separate USB power for the LCD because the Hi-Fi Berry DAC uses up quite a bit of power. Um, then I'm going to power the Raspberry Pi itself. Oops. Raspberry Pi itself. You see the LAC turns on. The LCD is on. I've got a little boot screen. It can be customized, obviously. And there we go. Everything's up and running. It detected that there is a Alza audio system running. I can I can use the touch screen, see, so the mouse pointer is moving with the touch screen. I can move it, move it with this little trackpad here also, and I can type stuff in, right? So that's just keyboard mouse. Let's now take the instrument here and just plug it into the USB of uh, uh, Raspberry Pi. It's going to power it. It will detect it and there you go. So the instrument is the first MIDI device and I can play it and you can see that it turns into a MIDI monitor at the top. Um, you know, I can unplug it. Uh, let me go to this. This is like a, a USB audio interface from Meridian. I can plug that one in. And it will show up here. You can see that it's got all these audio ports that it's detected through Alza. And plug it. I can unplug it. Let's not try with another. MIDI interface, uh, MIDI device here. I've got the Roly Seaboard blocks. Um, so if I put this into the USB port, it's going to detect it also. There you go. And so when I play it, again, you can see the MIDI monitor. And so that's it. Um, I thought it was pretty neat. It's sort of a building, a base for building solutions with the Raspberry Pi. So let me show you the boot up procedure again how fast it is. So, and all this is a read-only root file system at the moment. I'm not storing any user data, but this will be another partition. Um, so there's very, very low chance of corruption. I can just turn it off and just start it up again. And you can see you know, it's a uh, boot screen there and boom, we're, we're in the app. So that's it. So I thought it was quite cool to share this. Bye.